Hello everyone, welcome to the third and final part of our series of videos on mnemonics for remembering the names of ores. We move to mercury, cinnabar is the sulphide of mercury and calomel is the chloride of mercury. Let us put them down in our green boxes. Now it's time to fill the orange boxes. So calomel reminds me of caramel and cinnabar reminds me of cinnamon and bar. So now the situation is, there is a cricket match, imagine between India and Pakistan and things are really getting heated up, the mercury is rising, both literally and figuratively and then there is a small boy who comes in at the bar and says he needs a caramel and cinnamon. So everyone starts to laugh because first of all it is place for adults where they order for hard drinks, so everyone is laughing. So now you can close your eyes and imagine a situation of a bar wherein everyone is watching a tense cricket match between India and Pakistan and things are getting really heated up and then there is a young boy who comes in and at the bar he proudly orders a caramel and cinnamon and everyone bursts into laughter. So now that we have story in our mind let us try to recall the names of ores. Caramel, calomel and cinnamon in a bar was cinnabar. So with this we can move to tin. Cassiterite is an oxide and stannite is sulphide with some iron and copper. So again we have filled our green boxes. Now it's time to fill our orange boxes. Stannite sounds like stand all night and cassiterite sounds like cassette right. So the situation is a guy brings in a tin record player and everyone is very excited because they have never seen a tin record player. They think they will party all night, they will dance and drink. But all they could manage was stand there all night doing nothing because he was not able to put the cassette right into it. So there was no music, so nobody could dance. So close your eyes and again imagine a situation. There is a guy who brings in a tin recorder. First of all, everyone is amused and they are excited that, you know, tonight will be special. They will dance and drink. But unfortunately, nobody is able to put the cassette right into that tin record player. So all that they could manage to do was stand all night. So let's try to recall the words stand all night, stand night, cassette right, cassette right. So with this, we can move to zinc. Sphalerite or zinc blend, it's a sulphide of zinc along with iron. Then we have hydrozincite, which is zinc carbonate and hydroxide. Here we have an interesting case of calamine, which was thought to be just one compound, but it is actually a combination of two compounds, smithsonite and hemimorphite. Smithsonite is zinc carbonate, Whereas hemimorphite is a compound of zinc which has silicate and hydroxide. So let us try to remember it. As usual, we'll put the names of ores in the green boxes. Now in the orange boxes, we'll try to write words which will help us to associate with the words already there in their corresponding green boxes. Spellerite sounds like spell it right. Hydrozincite sounds like hide or seize inside. Smithsonite sounds like Smith tonight and Hemimorphite sounds like him more fight and Calamine sounds like can undermine. As you must be aware in the recently concluded one day series between Australia and South Africa, South Africans have hammered Australians badly. It was a whitewash 5-0. Maybe you can say that to be the most humiliating defeat that Australians have ever faced in one day history. So after the series loss, the Australian fans are very angry. They are holding a pluck card on which they have spelled it right, hide Aussies inside. So what they are doing is, they are ridiculing their own team for losing so badly. Whereas the captain of the team, Smith, in his press conference tonight, had asked his team to give him more fight. He also said that his team can undermine the zinc which was created during this series in their next tour to South Africa. So now you can close your eyes and try to imagine this situation. As you know, even the Australian fans are very emotional like our Indian fans. 
and after this beating that south africans have given them they are really ashamed and they are very angry so what they are doing is they are holding a placard in their hand wherein they are ridiculing their own team by saying hide aussies inside they want their players to hide their faces what they have done is really shameful for the country and the fans and they have spelled it right whereas the captain smith in his press conference tonight like all captains have asked his team to give him more fight and he also stressed that his team can undermine the zinx which was created here on this tour that it seemed that they can never win a one day match again on south african soil and this can be taken care of when they tour south africa next time and now that we have the story as well as the associated words in our mind let us try to recall the names of ours spelled it right spell it right hide ozies inside hydros inside smith tonight smith so night him more fight hemi more fight can undermine calamine and zinc to remind us of the element zinc Let us now move to the ores of manganese. Pyrolusite is an oxide of manganese and manganite is the hydroxide of manganese oxide. Now, let us fill our green boxes first. Let us now try to fill our orange boxes. For manganite, what comes to my mind is meganite and for pyrolusite, what comes to my mind is payroll website. So the situation here is my niece to remind us of manganese is a star dance performer. So after the mega night performances for over a month the management promised her a pay hike and she was really very happy when she looked up at the payroll website and found she has got a 100% increase in her salary. So now you can close your eyes and try to imagine this situation. Everyone in your family is very proud of your niece because she is a star dance performer. She is on a world tour for a month. All her shows are going houseful. The organizers are very happy because every night has turned into a mega night for them. The management promised her that they will give her a pay increase. And when she comes back and looks at her payroll website, she sees that they have really given her a 100% increase so she is ecstatic about it now that we have story in our mind and we have also associated the words with the names of ores let us try to recall them meganite should help us recall manganite and payroll website should remind us of pyrolusite with this we can move to the ores of calcium Dolomite is the carbonate of calcium and magnesium. Hope you remember the dynamite story. Then we have calcite which is a calcium carbonate. Then we have gypsum which is calcium sulfate dihydrate and we have fluorspar which is calcium fluoride. Now it's time to fill our green boxes. Now we will try to fill our orange boxes. For calcite what comes to my mind is calci a common term used for calculator for flow spa what comes to my mind is floral spa it is a spa with flowers gypsum reminds me of jeep and sum jeep sum and dolomite will again remind me of dynamite now the situation is calci which is a calculator wants to get a spa of course he cannot get a water spa so he chooses to have a floral spa and this special spa is arranged on a jeep now this jeep is also very special because some parts of it are filled with flower dynamites and that is how they give floral spa the dynamites burst and the subjects will have flowers pouring over them from all directions so now close your eyes and try to imagine the situation a calci a large calculator wants to have a spa he cannot have a water spa so he wants to get a special floral spa 
and for this he has to go on a special jeep some parts of which were filled with flower dynamites and how does one get spa here the flower dynamites will burst open and the subjects will have flowers all over them this is how one gets flower spa now that we have both story and associated words in our mind let us try to recall the names of ores calci or calci was calcite floral spa reminded us of floor spa jeep will remind us of gypsum and dynamite will of course remind us of dolomite with this we can move to the ores of uranium here we have carnotite which is an oxide of uranium along with some oxides of vanadium and some potassium then we have uraninite which was formerly known as pitch blend which is again an oxide of uranium so let us fill our green boxes and now let us try to fill our orange boxes for uraninite i can think of uranium at night and pitch blend pitches are blended for carnotite i imagine someone is using car to make it tight so here the scene is there is something very special about the australian pitches that is why none of the overseas teams are able to beat australia and what is that australian pitches are blended with uranium at night what do the curators of the pitch do so they are blending uranium with the soil at night and then they will use a car to make it tight they roll it very fast and that is why it becomes very difficult for the batsmen to play the fast deliveries so now you can close your eyes and imagine the situation the australian coach and management have instructed their curator to make a pitch which will make life difficult for the batsman so what he does is he goes at night and then he blends the soil in the pitches with uranium and then he uses a car to make it tight for the batsman funny and absurd situation undoubtedly but this will help us remember the names of ores so now let us try to recall it pitches are blended so pitch blend and how and when they are blended it is blended with uranium at night which is sufficient to remind us of urani night finally a car is used to make it tight carno tight you see it is effective now time to move to our final ore which happens to be an ore of cadmium the name of the ore is greenockite which is a sulfide of cadmium please note cadmium occurs as a minor component in most zinc ores and it is a by product of zinc production so here we have just one green box which is filled with greenockite and which sounds like green kite with which we fill our orange box so the situation is i go to a premium golf course and i have hired a caddy so caddy and premium should be sufficient to remind us of cadmium so what he does is instead of carrying my kit he is flying a green kite in a golf course again a very funny situation but that solves our purpose so now that we have story and the associated word in our mind we have just one word to recall green kite will remind us of greenockite and caddy premium reminded us of cadmium so with this we'll close our third and final lesson on mnemonics to remember the names of ores i hope you have learned a very useful technique here i'm very sure if you use it wisely you will never ever have to worry about remembering a thing again so put on your thinking caps and start remembering things forever thank you